Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming hey. at you again with another video over on Power World, and I'm going to show you ah. how to run the cave dungeons, and they kind of are spread all over the map. You can see right here, it's a hillside cavern. Um, they literally are just literally in, in a mountain. That's all it is. And uh, they're all pretty unique, and they have a respawn timer. You can see in the bottom right right now, the until expiration of about 200, 300 minutes. And then as long as you enter in that window, you get it, and then it will respawn after that window is up. Now you can enter the dungeon and leave the dungeon. So it's not like it's something you're stuck inside once you've gone inside the dungeon. Now you wanna try and get to the actual boss arena on the back side of this, but uh, overall it, they aren't that bad. Um, you can bring your tames and tames will help a ton with this because uh, your tame will try and protect you obviously. And um, for the most part, it helps a ridiculous amount. You see that right there, right? So you and your team can kind of just run around in here and collect stuff. There's usually Syndicate and then a couple, a very select few um, creatures slash pals that are kind of walking around. And some of them are incredibly valuable. Now you see this Mao, right? This Mao is one of the most valuable creatures in the game because it drops gold. If you farm Maos, um, they will actually drop gold for you. So try not to kill them, try to farm them. And um, you want to try and, to the best of your ability, at least farm them. You don't have to, but I would highly encourage you to do so. Because these things, let's see if I can get that one in one try. That would be amazing. I did. Let's go. Um, so, they do also have that heat-seeking tracker ball, which sucks. I'm not a big fan of it, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so catch these for sure. And if you put them inside of a farm, uh, you can actually get... Oh, how did that one not hit? No, 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 no. Wrong button. Like, that's why. That's why it makes sense now. Um, but yeah, put them inside a farm and they will gather a ridiculous amount of gold for you. Now, also inside of this cave, you're going to find access to sulfur. You're going to find access to coal. You're going to find access to a couple of different things. You just need to know what kind of rock you're looking for, right? So I last one before I start using a mega sphere on it. Yep, there's a 59%. We like that chance much better. And 88. There we go. Okay, so... Now, the next thing you want to look for inside of this cave is you want to be able to walk up to rocks and make sure you have a metal pickaxe or a pickaxe in general with you because you'll be able to harvest coal, you'll be able to harvest sulfur, and you'll be able to harvest anything that's kind of like a rare node material. They will also have large sources of the blue rock. I don't really, I mean, it's up to you what you want to call it. It's, I just call it the blue rock. Um, but they will be all over inside this cave. Now, the caves will always have the same layout. They're going to have a total of four rooms. You enter into the first room, like I just did right now, and then after you go into that first room, you'll be able to go left, right, or straight. Now, when you go straight, you can enter over the little like arch thing right there you see. That is where you can actually get the boss creature. I'm going to avoid that because I want to farm a little bit as well before I go in there. Going left and right will allow you to farm the different areas as well as the different uh, bosses and creatures, like the mini bosses, if you want to think of it that way, like the syndicates. They will give you some free ammo, um, especially it's valuable for late game, because if you've been collecting for the uh, from the beginning, you'll be able to get a whole bunch of ammo, and obviously that's a good thing. So you can see there's some gold coins as well, um, so you can't really complain too much. Now there's also a Fuddler in here, which can be a more rare tame, so you definitely want to try and get a hold of him. Come on. Come on, there we go. Okay, I was trying to get a shot off. Now, what? How did that miss, game? Frustrating, but whatever. Um, and then once you catch it, obviously, this is a uh, less common tame. So just keep that in mind. Really? That's it? Okay, cool. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to our metal pickaxe. And you remember when I told you there's going to be the blue rock? There's the palladium right here. Um, and that palladium can be harvested. It's the larger version. You'll get like 40-ish from these. Usually there's one every single time to the left-hand side when you actually go through the cave itself. And you should be able to harvest it all if you've got about 150 mobility or stamina, I suppose. Now, the one thing that I always make the mistake of is I forgot to bring food into this cave. And that can cause you some problems because it won't really help to not have food. Now, inside of this cave, there will be ore and sulfur. This is ore, but the sulfur will be a yellow appearance. But because ore is incredibly valuable, especially in like the mid to late game, you want to make sure you harvest as much of it as you can, because as of right now, mid game, there isn't a way to get ore except for to go and beat it to crap. That's about all you can do for it. Um, now, having a metal pick will certainly help you a ton when it comes to this, but it's up to you, right? 
So I'm going to go ahead and harvest all this. Then we'll hop on our Ike Deer or Ike Deer, whatever you want to call it, right? You can see Ike or Ike the Deer, Ike the Deer, Ike the Deer. I don't know how to say it, whatever. But uh, yeah, definitely harvest all these resources. Now we're going to go ahead and get this last one here. Come on now. It's a big one. All right, 40 overall. So we're going to go ahead and run out the other side. So that's the left entrance. The right side is, om they're always the same, by the way. It's, it's not, oh, really? You're going to get stuck here? Game, that's frustrating. You get through that by yourself. If not, we'll just pocket them up. Oh, you can get through it by yourself, huh, buddy? Great. Interesting. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and go through this next one. And I think he might get stuck again. He did, but he'll get through by himself. Great. Um, now we'll go to the other side. Now, again, we're avoiding that left side because once you've closed this area, um, you can't go back in. So you have to wait till the new one spawns. Now, there's another more uh, more rare um, creature or pal world. This is the daydream. Um, they are valuable because they will actually work for you at nighttime. And uh, we're going to go ahead and not tell our thing to go ahead and kill it because that would be problematic. No, please don't. Okay. So these guys can be. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. Yeah, but these guys can also be very useful because they will um, actually allow you to... Come on, one more shot, maybe? Nah, we're just going to go for it here. Really? You're going to be like that? Whatever. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and gather it. Because the more we have, the more experience we get and stuff like that. There's 1,000 free experience. And then we'll go ahead and toss out our big guy here. And harvest a little bit more of this pallium. Now, obviously, it's, you know, it's a little bit different. Uh, looking or an appearance, but uh, both sides of the cave for the left and right are pretty similar. They'll have a few tames. They'll have some palladium or they'll have some form of re for, uh, for a harvestable resource. And perfect timing, actually, because now you can actually see this guy. This is what sulfur looks like, right? If you can't figure that out, it's a big yellow rock. That's the only way I have to describe it, right? Now, it does weigh a lot, so you can toss some of the things that are less valuable to you. Um, because sulfur is much harder to get, whereas you can get things like ore outside of the cave. Sulfur, you have to get inside the cave. So what I'll tend to do is I'll drop the things that I don't need necessarily, like stone, wood, um, anything else that kind of weighs a ton. You can also half click on something. Um, coal is useful, so I'm going to half click with this ore. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it. I know it's, it's a little bit of a waste because that's 22 ore, but still, it doesn't matter all that much. Now that we've gone in and gotten our sulfur, we can kind of do a little check around and there's another tame that is valuable here i'm gonna go ahead and pocket my guy up uh, and right here go ahead and get this guy out with our crossbow Oop. so there's another coal rock by the way so we're gonna definitely grab that really thank you tank that a little bit but you can see there's more coal here so we're gonna go ahead and harvest this as long as we're trying to gather this guy as well um so there's some venom glands that we got off that Kilimari, and again look at that so the reason that we're gathering these tames uh, is because they get you gain a ton of experience from it so uh yeah we're definitely going to do that every time we get into the one of these caves because they're more rare tames that you can get or more pals that you can get i'm just going to drop the rest of this because coal is much more valuable for us right now so uh that's the uh, right side now the last area that you can go is the boss arena now the boss is going to have a few thousand health so just be aware of that for this specific one it's going to be level 13 um but it is a kind of a they'll have like a boss indicator on it when you look at it as well which is kind of cool so let's go ahead and get into this area i'm almost hungry so we want to kind of hustle through um so once you get into this last cave i would recommend having your crossbow ready to go you can go a couple different ways but i usually just run straight up the center um, and then once you get through the center here, you'll see this little like archway and into the cave we go. Now, the looks like we have a, a gum moss or a gu moss, whatever you want to call it, right? There's some usually a couple of minis versions with it. And then we can go ahead and go in here and kind of attack all of these creatures. Now, the there we go. Thank you. Attack it, buddy. Attack. Why aren't they like taking damage? Yeah, okay. Now, once you've gotten your creature's attention, he'll start attacking them as well, which is what we're trying to get him to do anyways. You can catch these because they'll have, like, rare abilities with these larger ones. Um, so you want to just be aware of that. And usually I let my pal do most of the damage um, because I want to catch things. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, you know, I want you. 
And then let's go ahead and gather it. How did that not go? That's an 86% right there. 88%. Okay. 95, 99. And now we've caught ourselves a rare gu moss or gum moss, whatever it is. And then we'll go ahead and let our guy take out the rest of these things. And uh, he will pretty quickly. Now, now that you've done that, the cool thing about that, I guess the next part of the cave that you're going to want to pay attention to is you're going to be able to get the ancient um, stuff on the backside. Once we've gone through, you'll see that we've gathered a whole bunch of nice resources and we're going to go ahead and move through here and get the two purple chests at the end because obviously super valuable. And then we've got a nightmare ball and then a life pendant. That's pretty cool. Now, also, I don't see it here. There it is. There's the ancient civilization part. That's what we really wanted out of this thing because an ancient civilization part is really cool. Uh, you can use this on a payoff to teach it Nightmare Ball. That's kind of cool. And then the last thing, where's that pendant? Did it automatically go on me? There it is. Uh, slightly raises your health overall. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is a, you can find these randomly from when you're doing these caves and uh, that's just how they work. Now, just to show you real quick, come on, thank you. What it would have looked like if we would have gone the other way, which you can do by the way, so I'll go ahead and go in here, but it doesn't really change much. Um, but yeah, this is the boss room. Now it can be anything in this room. Um, down there is water. So I have seen the water creatures kind of like go into that area. Really gonna make me get off. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. Sometimes this game frustrates me. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to this area. Now, what I will tell you is if you leave this cave, right? From the way that I just came, like that little purple crystal thing, what's going to happen is that it's going to restart the cave. So like you're gonna close down the front door and it's like uh, nothing essentially happened. So this is the last room that we could hit up here. Let's see, we've got a daydream in here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can tame it. Really? Now we got a 50% on that guy. And it should tame. Oop. There we go. All right, so now that we're inside of this room, you can see that, again, it's just another generic room. We'll go into this last chamber over here. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da. As we go, this little bridge that we're going to cross over into the backside of the cave. I don't know why you decided to wait forever, but it is what it is. There's some more coal right there. Again, I don't have the weight to be able to carry it. I've got ore. I've got some more. Uh, th th it's just like basically a resource room, right? So you can see coal up there. I've got coal down there and I've got all that stuff there. Now, in order to leave the cave, all we have to do is go back to the end where those purple chests were and hit that purple spire thing. And that'll teleport you to the front of the cave and you will have beaten this cave, getting the resources and everything that you need. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach out.